So here is how you can uh, read uh, absolute pressure uh, using a, a second-hand car uh, Bosch uh, manifold absolute pressure sensor. So this is uh, two and a half bar uh, sensor, and I've hooked it up to uh, an Arduino Uno. Well, this is a cheaper version. This is a Lego Uno, but it's the same as Arduino Uno. So all the code for how I've done this is, is in the description uh, down below so if you really want the code for how this works uh, check out the description so I've put the description of the of the pressure bar sensor and um, to quickly show you uh, how it works so it measures really um, absolute pressure so roughly currently the pressure is about this is in millibars so it's roughly about a thousand point um, let's stop it to see how much exactly it is so roughly about 1010 uh, millibars and the second uh, row is uh, the voltage that's coming out of the uh, out of the sensor so um, how accurate this is so I have a um, iPhone 6 with with the barometer so I put a um, a barometer up so um, the uh, Bosch map sensor shows roughly about a thousand and two three uh, millibars where the iPhone sensor shows roughly about 999 point uh, millibars so it's roughly the Bosch map sensor two and a half bars is roughly about only one millibar above what the iPhone uh, uh, barometer shows so I don't really know how accurate the barometer measurement of the iPhone is but one millibar is uh, uh, pretty good to me so uh, the Bosch sensor is nothing really quite complicated so here the, the numbers I mean there in the description it's a um, two and a half bar sensor uh, so it measures absolute pressure from um, 200 millibars to two two and a half thousand uh, millibars um, we have uh, three uh, three pins so um, um, let me clip it so um, this really is the is the is the positive five volt. Uh, this is ground, and this is the sensor output. Now I know that that's I'm so only for testing purposes. That's why I've hooked it up like that. Um, and on the Arduino, so um, the five volts is in five volts ground, and of course I've got it uh, the analog in uh, um, A zero. Um, I mean the second half of this video will show how you can derive the formulas to measure absolute pressure uh, using your own uh, um, map sensor so it could be three bar or one and a half bars or whatever so it's, it's fairly fairly easy um, uh, linear models so what is really the the resolution uh, of this uh, uh, map sensor so if so this is just a plotter of the of the absolute pressure in, in, in millibars so it's roughly about a thousand and um, 0.5 so so if I really slightly blow here but very slightly um, the resolution is roughly about um, half a millibar to a, to a millibar so if I really slightly uh, blow on this you can roughly or, or suck on it get roughly about this is slightly more but depends uh, roughly about get you can get a uh, pretty good resolution half a millibar uh, or, a, or, a, or a one millibar even below than that so it's, so it's pretty accurate actually and um, now to see how it goes with uh, uh, more pressure so well um, to get uh, uh, more pressure so we have a, a, a syringe uh, with the tube so I connect it to the to the sensor and uh, draw and uh, push on that one uh, just to see um, how this goes so um, sucking on it so we get 700 millibars roughly um, and if I push on it really get about so it's pretty um, accurate
let's see how if I only put slight pressure not just um, not just blowing on it but just pushing slightly on the on the plunge here so you could get um, a slight so one could see how it is getting up uh, so you can measure roughly about half millibar to about bar uh, one millibar to half a millibar to one millibar so it's actually pretty good so let's see how um, this actually works so we know that really for, for um, to measure it quite precisely and accurately one really needs to know how much voltage comes out of um, uh, the Arduino um, because it's supposed to be 5 volts but it's never really 5 volts I mean there is a USB so um, if I really measure uh, how many volts so this is max 20 so if I really measure uh, how many volts are coming out uh, of the Arduino um, uh, let's see, so this is roughly about 4.9 volts uh, rather than 5 and the measurement by the map sensor um, are proportional to, to the voltage um, uh, that is supplied to the sensor and the output, uh, so if I measure the output, is roughly about uh, 1.83 uh, volts and the output for exact same amount of pressure will be proportional to the voltage supplied so this is roughly about uh, 4.9 volts. So this has to be supplied how many volts uh, this is. Uh, so if I measure more accurately uh, the output, uh, so it's roughly about 1.843. Um, um, so this is really supplied. Um, so that's it. So the the the. Um, the second half of the video will be how to really derive the formulas and how the code works, how to derive the formulas and, and um, basically you need to know what is the supply voltage, what is the minimum measure voltage by uh, the map sensor and what is the uh, the maximum voltage that, that it can measure. These are the only things that, that one needs and can calculate for any uh, any map sensor how it works and one can hook it up to the Arduino. I mean one can use the uh, different inputs uh, then again one has to measure really how much uh, this output is because the the output of the sensor, the analog output, is proportional to the um, to the input voltage. So um, that's it. I hopefully re that's really useful. So the next thing is to to really see how um, the code works and how the formula inside work.